In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. Sagot po kayo ng malakasa. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, and thou we pray with the spirit of wisdom, those whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, learn from myself and Apollos not to go beyond what is written, so that none of you will be inflated with pride in favor of one person over against another, who confers distinction upon you. What do you possess that you have not received? But if you have received it, why are you boasting as if you did not receive it? You are already satisfied. You have already grown rich. You have become kings without us. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings so that we also might become kings with you. For as I see it, God has exhibited us, apostles, as the last of all, like people sentenced to death. Since we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and men alike, we are fools on Christ's account, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clad and roughly treated. We wander about homeless and we toil working with our own hands. When ridiculed, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we respond gently. We have become like the world's rubbish, the scum of all to this, to this very moment. I am writing you this not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. Even if you should have countless guides to Christ, yet you do not have many fathers, for I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is just in all His ways, 
in holy, in holy words. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. He fulfills the desire of those who fear Him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord keeps all who love Him, but all the wicked He will destroy. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless His holy name forever and ever. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. Please stand. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Friends, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Doon sa mga pilgrims na kung saan saan panggaling ng parte ng Pilipinas, kahit maulan ay naandito, maaring na mamanata. Or as all of us who come here, we are asking for something. Meron tayong hinihiling, meron tayong iniaalay sa Panginoon. It could be our prayers of thanksgiving for favors received. It could also be petitions or it could be prayers for our dear departed ones. Uh, sa ating ibanghelyo, sa umagang ito, makikita natin na nagtatalaban yung mga Pharisees at ang Panginoon at ang kanyang mga disciples. Mainit ang mata ng mga fariseyo sa Panginoon at sa kanyang mga alagad. Kapag ka sinabi natin mainit ang mata, uh, I think we also experience o na-encounter din natin yan sa ating pamumuhay ngayon, sa ating kapanahunan, di ba? Kapag ka sinabi natin mainit ang mata ng isang tao sa atin, pinag-iinitan talaga tayo, di ba? Lahat na lang iniintay na magkamali tayo. Oops! Parang nakatapak tayo sa numero. Mahirap mabuhay kapag ka tayo'y pinag-iinitan. Di po ba? Hindi ka makagalaw tuloy kasi wala na yung spontaneity, wala na yung natural uh, self mo. Kasi nagbabantay, nagbabantayan kayo, di ba? Halimbawa, sa hanap buhay ninyo, you have uh, bosses o mga, mga boss natin, mga bossing. Well, it is their work. It is part of their work to supervise us. Yung mga bisor, diba? talagang babantayan at mamanmanan ka sapagkat uh, meron silang pinapanag, pinapa, pinapanag, inaalagaan. They have to reach certain objectives in their work. At kahit naman tayo, diba? meron din tayong sinusupervise sa ating maliit na tahanan, sa community, sa barangay. Hindi natin maiiwasan yung nangyari o yung tagpo sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon. Kaya nga nagtatalaban si Jesus versus the Pharisees. 
Ang mga fariseyo, gusto nila to the letter, susundin mo yung batas. Eh kapag kasabat kasi, bawal magtrabaho. Marami silang listahan kung ano yung mga pwede at kung ano yung hindi pwede. They have become slaves of the law. Tapos sila rin yung arbiter, sila rin yung magsasabi kung tama yan o hindi. Medyo meron tayong problema kapag ka ganun. In other words, ikaw yung gumagawa ng rules of the game, ikaw rin yung magre-referee. Hindi pwede yun, di ba? Siyempre, papaburan mo yun sa sarili mo. And yet the Lord uh, did not cancel out the Pharisees. Sa, sapagkat meron din siya mga kaibigang Pharisees, hindi naman lahat ng mga Pariseyo ay masama. Di ba? Iniimbita pa nga siya na kumain sa kanilang mga bahay. They were just misguided. So in other words, uh, kapag ka tayo ay nagmamatsyag sa ibang tao, it is also not easy. Hindi po madali kapag ka ikaw ay nagmamatsyag. Like for example, dito po sa Manawag, na andito po yung aming initial. Actually, hindi initial, pero yung mga nakikita ninyong mga brothers na nakahabit, nagsisimula sila sa aming buhay bilang mga Dominicans. And they are called for Mandi. They are being formed. Hinuhubog sila ng aming formator, ng novice master, at pati yung buong community ng mga pari. So, nagmamatsyag ba kami? Do we observe? Yes. Tinitingnan namin sila kung tama ba yung kanila iginagawi sapagkat sila yung mga bata pa, nagsisimula, mga neophytes. So, we have to form them correctly. Are they proper to this kind of life? Hindi po, ma- hindi po madali kasi maging pari. Hindi po ba? Uh, In other words, but we are looking at them with a different motivation from that of the Pharisees. Sapagkat yung mga Pariseyo, binabantayan lamang kung kailan magkakamali si Jesus at kanyang mga apostles. But for us, for example, and maybe for you when you supervise people, if you have people under you, why do we observe them? For their own good. In other words, yung motivation ay para maging mabuti ang kanilang kahinan, kahihinatnan. Hindi yung mag, magtuturo ng mali. Diba? Iba kasi yung motivation eh. Kapag ka ang motivation mo ay maigi for the common good and for the person itself, there is nothing wrong with being observant or even perhaps judging the actions of, of somebody. In other words, kinokorek natin para malagay sa tamang lugar ang iginagawi at inaasal ng isang tao. Pero sabi ko nga, ang mga fariseyo, hindi. They just want to catch the Lord sa kanyang gagawing pagkakamali so that they will have a case against Him. And yet the Lord, kagaya ng sinabi sa ating first reading, very gentle, di ba? Jesus engaged the Pharisees. Inexplain niya, yung mga batas niyo kasi, eh para talaga nakatapak sa numero ang mga tao, napakahirap i-observe. Marami tuloy hindi nakakasunod sapagkat napakahirap to the letter, di ba? O hindi ka pwedeng mag- magbuhat ng baso, hindi ka pwedeng ganito, hindi ka pwedeng ganyan. Puro bawal. Kadalasan ganyan din na nangyayari sa atin, di ba? O, nagsimba ka na ba? O, linggo ngayon, bawal magtrabaho, etc., etc. It is also for us, perhaps for some of us, lalong-lalo na kapag yung sinaunang panahon, We could also be like the Pharisees. But remember what the Lord said in today's Gospel. The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Itong ating pagsisimba, itong ating pagdalaw, pagpilgrimage, ating mga magagandang mabubuting ginagawa para sa sarili nating mga minamahal sa buhay at para sa ibang tao, wala yan kung ang ating motivation ultimately is the Lord, ang Panginoon. Diba sabi sa ating uh, responsorial psalm, The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. Eh lahat tayo ngayon na andito at nagsisimba. We are calling on the Lord. At naandito tayo sa dambana ng mahal na birin ng manawag, The Virgin who calls. So, tinatawag tayo, di ba? Iniimbita tayo, inaanyayahan tayo. Pero kapag ka tayo ay nakinig at tayo ay naandito, Kapag kasi nabing tayo tinawag, pag nandito na tayo, tayo rin ay makikinig. Ano ba ang sasabihin ng Panginoon sa ating mga panalangin? The Lord is near to all who call upon Him.
Ano ba yung ating mga hinihingi for Saturday ngayon? Merong mga maraming namamanata. Kaninang alas 4, nag-dawn rosary, lumabas yung prosesyon, maraming sumunod. Ano kaya ang kanila ibinubulong sa Panginoon sa mahal, nating, sa mahal na ina ng manawag? Kapag ka tayo ay tumugon, tayo rin ay dapat makinig kung anong sasabihin sa atin ng mahal na birhen. Kagaya ng nangyari sa kana, di ba? Nawalan sila ng alak at sabi ni Yesus sa kanyang nanay, Nay, hindi ko pa panahon para magmilagro. Walang sinabi ang mahal na birhen kundi, Do whatever my son tells you. At ganun din tayo. Pagkatapos natin magsimba at magpilgrimage dito sa Manawag, palagay ko yun din ang ating maririnig. Do whatever my son tells you. So let us not be perhaps negative about people na mainit ang mata sa atin. Kung ang kanilang uh, kabutihan ng ating pakay, and if we are doing it for the love of the Lord, there is nothing to worry about. Pero kung yung ating ginagawang pag-o-observe, pag-o-correct, ay iba ang motibo natin, eh we have to think about it. Ultimately, the motive for our fraternal correction, kung itinatama natin ang ating mga kapwa, it is because of our love for God. It is also because of our love for that person that we are correcting. Kagaya rin ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa mga Fariseo, in-explain niya. Ang mga batas ay secondary. Lahat ay secondary. The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Tayo nagsisimba, tayo ay nananalangin, tayo ay gumagawa ng mabuti because of the love of God for us. Huwag natin kakalimutan po iyan. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Let us now pray to God, our Father, who has called us all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. So for each petition, at ilalakas po natin ang ating sagot, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work in law enforcement and government may consistently place the welfare of the people above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in worshiping the God whom we cannot see, we may not forget our needy brothers whom we see. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal those who suffer from various physical and spiritual maladies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Brothers and sisters, let us now pause for a few moments of meaningful silence to offer our petitions of thanksgiving, petition, or for our dear departed ones. Uh, alalahanin po natin, hindi tayo nag-iisa sa simbahang ito. And let us not be concerned just with our own individual and particular intentions. Ipagdasal din po natin ang mga tao sa ating paligid at sa kanilang mga idinadalangin at inaalay sa ating Panginoon. For all these petitions, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and to be guided. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made, you will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering, you have loosed the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sagot po kayo ng malakas, ha? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Gregory, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Pinagpala ang napailing ko sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Gregory, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Iyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakain sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa Sala, parang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkasala sa amin at huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa inyo pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us grant peace. Us. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed indeed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Announcement, their devotees of Our Lady of Manawag. The October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to, to, to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for online pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory, 
they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, dear friends, fellow pilgrims, sisters, and brothers, we thank you for joining us and coming to Manawag for, to visit Our Lady and, he, and her child. Uh, sana po ay ipagpatuloy niyo rin kaming isali sa inyong mga panalangin at dasal para sa aming mga responsibilidad dito sa Minor Basilica. Hindi ho madali kasi ang magpastol ng mga pilgrims coming from all over the world. It is not easy. And we also promise to pray for your own intentions and for your petitions. At sana po ay maganap nga ang kalooban ng Diyos sa inyong mga buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At katulad ng pagbati ko sa inyo ng the Lord be with you, pakipansin din naman ang mga tao sa inyong paligid, pakisabi rin sa kanila, pabaunan nyo sila ng the Lord be with you bago tayo magkahiwahiwalay. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist. We go in peace glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, those who are here. And those who we have left behind at home, we can also substitute for them, no? God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.